guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a really fun video, or at least I think it's a fun video, because every year, at the beginning of the year, I see people film videos of brands they wanna try in 2018, and last year I filmed a video that I forgot about until I was digging through my videos, and I realized I filmed this, and I was like, that's a great idea, I should do this again. So I am going to bring you a video called Brands I Think You, yes you should try in 2019 so if you want to find out what i think you should try just keep watching okay guys so the first brand i put on my list is sydney grace now 2018 was definitely my year to experience sydney grace i tried so many of their eyeshadows i bought their fall bundle their some of their holiday 2017 bundle i bought their icy bench palette dupe I bought a lot of Sydney Grace. Sydney Grace is, is all over my house right now, and I also tried some of their cream shadows. Amazing, literally made a whole video talking about them to you guys. They are an indie brand based out of California, and they just do amazing eyeshadows, and I think you can always get a discount too if you use one of their affiliate codes. So definitely something to consider. In 2019, I, can't say enough good things about them and they recently at the end of 2018 launched their first ever eyeshadow palette so if you are one of those people that don't really like putting your own eyeshadow palettes together you can try the autumn rain palette it's on its way to me i have not received it yet but you best believe as soon as i get it i will be reviewing it and probably creating some looks for you guys as well but I love Sydney Gray so much. The owner is so friendly and kind, and I just think it's a fun brand, and I cannot wait to see what else they come up with in 2019, so I hope you will consider checking them out. The next brand is BH Cosmetics, and I actually did mention them in my video from 2018. I thought I would give them another shout out in this video because honestly, they did not disappoint me in 2018. There were so many great palettes that they came out with. They're constantly coming out with new things, but I like that for them. I'm so glad whoever is running the show at BH Cosmetics has really infused and injected some awesome energy into that company. They were kind of one of those companies that's been around for a long time, but they sat a little dormant. They did that collab with Carly Bible. They got a little bit of buzz, but 20 2018 was their year. They did the collab with It's My Rare, the Festival Collection palette was gorgeous, their Zodiac palette blew up, and then towards the end they just did that Love Signs palette, which I also have a need to review for you guys. I'm sorry, I'm really slow and behind, but so many exciting things, and now they're doing individual palettes for every star sign, so I'm excited to see where that goes. I know they did take a lot of heat for the Capricorn palette, but honestly, like, I'm a Capricorn, I'm not offended, it's fine. Like, let's give them a chance, let's see what they can come up with. I'm definitely excited to see what BH Cosmetics does next, and I think you guys should check them out. I also think they came out with foundations this year. I didn't try the foundations, I did pick up one of their bronzers very recently from Ulta, and I actually really like it. I think they also started being sold at Ulta this year. Correct me if I'm wrong, but They've done some amazing things in 2018, and I feel very confident, again, giving them another shout-out this year and recommending them to you. The next brand I want to talk about, this is going to be controversial, but that's okay. The brand I want to recommend you try is Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Now, I'm not talking about the personal stuff. It's just, I, it's just a whole thing. You guys can decide, but here is why I think you should try Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I think he's got some really innovative products. I don't love everything he makes. I don't like the highlighters. I don't like all of the eyeshadow palettes. My favorite eyeshadow palette from him is the Blood Sugar palette, and I also recently picked up the Alien palette, which I actually think is a cool palette as well. You can say whatever you want, but I think it's still very innovative. I don't think I've seen anything else like that anywhere else in the market, and I think it's very, very cool, especially because when you look at a lot of other brands that other influencers have created, they're very safe. Um, when I think of like Manny's Life's The Drag Palette, like honestly that palette, it's like a million other palettes. Laura Lee's Nudie Patootie, even some of Dominique Cosmetics stuff, I mean it's not that out of the box. Whereas I think Jeffree does make an effort to do things a little bit different, very much true to his personality, which I think is amazing for the brand. I also love their liquid lipsticks, they have an amazing shade range. 
I love his nudes for my skin tone. I know I always mention I love more brown tone nudes and he has a lot of those to offer as well. So definitely a brand I think you should try out. Try it out for yourself. I know there's a lot of negativity surrounding his brand and I have so many thoughts on that, but just to keep it professional, Try the brand, I think it's great. Next brand I think you guys should try is Real Techniques. Real Techniques makes some amazing affordable brushes. I don't so much love their eye brushes, but I do love their face brushes. Their foundation brush is really good. Their blush brush, their big face brush. I like to use that one for bronzer. They just make some really good brushes. Also, a lot of people like their sponges. Those are like the standouts for me. I don't really have a whole lot to say about Real Techniques, except they're affordable. So if you're looking for an alternate that you can easily find because I know they're sold on Target, Walmart, you can find Real Techniques at most drugstores. So easy to find, great brushes, great price point, 100% recommend the brand to you guys. Next brand I want to mention again, this was again mentioned in my 2018 video but I think it deserves another shout out and it is Huda Beauty. Huda Beauty has been killing it in 2018. She did the concealer, she did more um, lippies. I think she did like stroby lippies. She did highlighters. She did these new liquid eyeshadows. We've done the new nudes palette and then those little obsession palettes. So I think she really has kept the momentum going in 2018 and I'm so excited to see what she does in 2019. And I just love the new nudes palette. I just featured it in my 2018 favorites video. I think if you guys have been on the fence again another controversial brand because she claims to be cruelty free But she has mink lashes, and I, I get all of those things, but She's still a good brand and if you guys are okay with all that stuff I want you to try out Huda Beauty, especially if you are of a tanner skin tone her stuff is legit and especially her foundations. I love her foundation, the Faux Filter Foundation. I am really hoping in 2019 that she makes some bronzers because I really need somebody to make a, like a 10 piece bronzer shade range for people with my skin tone, darker skin tones. I think the bronzer market is very much geared towards pale girls and nothing against pale girls but like tan girls like to have bronzer on too. Like, I love bronzer in the summertime. I love matte bronzer. I love shimmer bronzer. I need somebody to step up and make some good bronzers. So I'm hoping it'll be Huda Beauty, Colored Rain, just one of those black owned brands needs to get on it. Or person of color owned brands <laughs> needs to get on it. The next brand I want to talk to you guys about is another influencer owned brand and it is Kale Polish. I have fallen in love with Kale Polish in a bad, bad way. I've been buying all their collections. I want to do a collection video and show you guys all the shades I own from Kale Polish, but I'm also a lazy bitch, so I don't know if that'll actually happen. I could just like hold up the nail polishes and show them to you if that's something that interests you, but she's got so many cool shades. I love her formula. It lasts so long on my, my nails. They're very long wearing, and I don't get a lot of chips and stuff. Usually I can wear the nail polish for a couple of days, whereas other polishes I'm usually chipping and peeling off in like a day or two. So I love, love Kale Polish, and I'm so excited to see what her collections will be like in 2019. So if you're looking for a good nail polish, Kale Polish for you. Next brand I wanna give a shout out to that I think you should try out is Dose of Colors. Now Dose of Colors is a brand I avoided for the longest time. I had some of their liquid lipsticks that I thought were lovely, but I didn't love their five pan eyeshadow palettes. I'll throw up a picture so you guys know what I'm talking about. But the whole of YouTube was going nuts for these quints that they had. And I just thought they were so powdery. I bought some, returned them because I didn't like them. They came out with more shades. And I was just like, oh, come on, Dose. Like, I hate your formula. But then they came out with the I Love Sarah E palette as well as the Desi X Katie Frankation palette and those formulas really work for me. So if you've been kind of on the fence about trying Dose of Colors, I would recommend trying their collab palettes because those are really, really good. Their liquid lipsticks are very, very nice as well. So 
that is definitely a brand I think you guys should try out this year. Okay, so last thing, and this is like an honorable mention because there are some things in this brand that I liked and some things I didn't like. Actually, there's only one thing about this brand that I like. And the brand I'm talking about is Melt Cosmetics. And Melt came out with one of my favorite palettes of 2018, which is the Smoke Session palette. Now, I know a lot of you really want that palette because you like the concept and you like smoking marijuana and all of that. For me, I purely picked it up because green is my favorite color and you throw all green palette in front of me and I'm like, give it to me. Like, even if it's from a brand I dislike, like Melt, because I don't like their formula, like, of their stacks. I think it's super duper overhyped. I know a lot of people on YouTube really, really like the Melt stacks. For me, they just don't work and I think they're overpriced, but Smoke Session palette was a knockout. So easy to use. It has two matte shades, so basically... You use that in your crease and then you can add one of the shimmers all over your, you know, eyelid and you're good to go. So I think that palette is simple but well thought out. The shades are beautiful. It's such a stunning palette. And so therefore Melt gets an honorable mention in my video of brands I think you should try in 2019. So I hope you enjoyed this video concept. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what brands you think I should try out this year and we'll see if it'll make it on my list. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye!